The tropics are calm here across the western Pacific. In fact, for the first time in the entire month of January, I don't even have a shear line setting up across the Philippines. Just kind of gives you an idea of how this high pressure is dominating back towards the north and overall suppressing any activity. But as we go ahead into the month of February, I do want to look ahead here because the, on average, we typically get less than one named storm system, but they do happen from time to time. Unlike the Hurricane season in Atlantic, where from June to November, that's when you call hurricane season. Her typhoon season never really shuts off here in the Western Pacific, but it does kind of go down to a slow pace. You know, it doesn't die, it just goes to sleep for a little bit, but sometimes you can wake it up. We do get a system or two. With a La Nina in place at this time, I think that maybe one name storm system is possible this month. But I wouldn't go for a typhoon. Main reason it is statistically the calmest month of the year. But also we do have this high pressure back towards the north. And overall, we've just been seeing this influence of dry, colder air. So I wouldn't, especially back here towards the east, I would not have any straight runners. If we do get something, it would have to form in this area. We do have an above average rainfall forecast from the ECMWF deterministic model across the Philippines. Now the main reason for this is that above sea, average sea surface temperature out here just off the coast, but also we still have some of that influence coming in from the north with those cold surges setting up to start off February. Thing is, with those cold surges though, they are gonna back off just a little bit. So thus, above average rainfall, but I don't expect anything as heavy as we've seen in the month of January. This is actually the Termis model in the higher heights, and you can see the reds and blues kind of setting up there. Well, then it goes more zonal, it just becomes one shade of color there in the latter part of the month right there. That's telling me that those cold surges are kind of starting to stabilize. We're not going to see as much of that influence moving in from the north across Taiwan and the Philippines by the end of the month, which statistically and climatologically speaking, happens this time of year. So above average sea surface temperatures, um, yeah, 28 to 30 degrees. The anomaly is about one to three degrees above average, typical for a La Nina year out here in the Philippine Sea. If you notice way off towards the east, it is below average. That's because all that warmer water is getting pushed off there with the increased easterlies. But talking about La Nina, as we go ahead through um, February into March, we're going to start to rebound back to more of a neutral threshold. Actually, the advisory is out until about March. So by the time we get to May, June, we should be back closer to neutral. So right now, the good news is that we kind of peaked out with this La Nina in uh, some of these colder months, November and uh, October, it really peaked out though. And unfortunately, that's when we had those back to back to back to back storm systems. But now we're going to start to get more back to neutral levels as we head through the month of February. So my just end thing here is we still have that influence above average sea surface temperature. So some cloudy, dreary conditions across Luzon, very well likely. Okinawa, Taiwan, you're fine as far as tropical systems are concerned. Maybe we might get one named storm system out there in the Philippine Sea because of that above average sea surface temperatures. But I think that uh, just due to the dynamics I'm seeing in the extended forecast, I wouldn't say it's typhoon, but you know, it's 2021 and things have surprised us lately, right? So uh, thanks for watching all the way through this video. Kind of a little different setup. I'm just looking at the long range forecast for you guys. So I hope you found it useful. Stay safe out there. And as always, thanks for watching.